really appreciate. What happens if Lee Sin gets banned? Uh, well, that, well then we ban the blue team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blue team, gone. Ping yep. got Lee Sin yesterday. They had a great performance. They earned MVP. They won the game twice, right? They, they did own. win the game twice. By, because we, by pulling off a, a perfect insect, you actually just win. So that's what we'll be judging. What will be the, the highest mechanical... Yeah, what will be the highest mechanically skilled play you can make in tandem? And then if they can pull it off, that gives you bonus win points. Okay. So that's really important, Cam. I'm liking the band so far. Get all these uh, no skill champs out of there. Yes. Hecarim, Get the Hecarim out of there. The, 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 the E out of there. You know, you just had the, any champ where someone's just pressing Q. It's not actually any communication. Get them out of there. Now, of course, on your screen right now, Uzi and Candace. Candace are pretty regular to Kanduzi. international stage. And Kanduzi playing together. I actually think it would be much more stressful being Candace in that situation. Playing with Uzi, playing with the weight of the LPL fans <laughs> watching. Where, you know, she's a stage host and a caster and translator as well. So Well, to be fair, she's undefeated in this event. And Uzi's already lost a couple times. That's true. If anything, the pressure falls on yeah, Uzi. Not yeah, he's, he's got to record. live up to this. I mean, she's coming into it undefeated. He's already had a couple losses. Now, gents, Nico is available. We didn't see Nico yesterday. Oh, no. But... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Try hard. No! He did this last year. What was he is this? So happy. If, but Uzi you know what I love? The mouse, they're cheating. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're just this just playing the champ horrible. Did you see Licorice's face? We need to go back and watch that later. This pure disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what Uzi picked last year. It's about as try hard as you can get because yep. you actually don't even need the abilities. Like occasionally someone presses E or Alt, right, it's, but it's just Uzi playing Twitch. This is gutter tier. This is definitely this, this is, is this is the gutter of the gutter tier. Mundo. Oh. What? At least there's cleavers, I guess. But Mundo's, Mundo's. I mean, so far I'm hard cheering. For I'm right hard side. red. We like, are hard red. By we got bro right? grip. We got Lux. That's all skill shots. Thresh is, is bringing them back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because yesterday we saw a great Thresh. Yeah. And of course, this is going to be the Licorice impact, right? Licorice showing up Main. in two v two tandem. Right. Team, Team Red has already won my heart. Yeah. I don't care who wins the game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I only want Red to win. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, also, you're allowed to be biased in this mode. Yes, we are. Bias That's... is actually encouraged. It is indeed encouraged. Now, where does where does Vayne actually land on the on the tier from Dumpster so to S? Because I had this conversation with Azale yesterday because I think she is on the border. She's the top end of gutter. Top because end of gutter. The reason why is because her abilities are not that skill shot reliant. Yeah. But I still believe that the Q knowing when to use it is very important. And you can tumble the wrong way, remember. And you can condemn the wrong way as yeah. well. So she's definitely still a little easier because she has a passive and ult. She's no Ezreal. She's not. She's more like kind of like Zaya, which we saw Zaya actually looked a lot harder yes. than you would think because. But the thing with the thing with uh, champions that are difficult is it's if you have to use a skill shot while moving. That's what's so hard because right. you because you have to aim. So if you're kiting backwards and having to do a skill shot forwards, you have to press the button at the right time as your player is moving the mouse in that direction, right? So we saw Beaky yesterday. You know, one is kiting back and they're pressing the ability at the same time, so it gets mixed up. Yes. Vayne is just a movement ability, so you know. You, if you roll though the wrong way, that is going to be a, a lot rougher than Twitch. Whereas if you press E at the wrong time, it doesn't really matter. Oh no, yeah. I pressed E at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what the the team comes round out with. Because for the time being, I like this. Do it. Oh yeah, this is so much cool. Look at red team. Okay, like, now, blue, now blue cannot come back from what this. Team? It's unrecoverable. <laughs> what if team red wins? What if with a more difficult composition in a tandem mode, they take down the Twitches and the Mundos and the Jaxes of the world? Because even Jax is fairly that. linear, like middle oh, of the table. Wow, yeah. They've locked in the Jax. Yeah, Yasuo, Yasuo, I actually think, is one of the hardest champions in the whole game. Oh, yeah. Um, because not only do you have to aim every single Q, like that is a, that's a, a skill shot. Yes, you can do the, the sweeping blade and you can do an AoE, but like you have to be dashing through the minions as they're mousing over that, you know, not using your Q when they're moving their mouse to the wrong direction. Yasuo is really hard and you could actually do, imagine if we get an insect into a Yasuo alt combo. Yeah. That's like the <laughs> pinnacle here. I think you're right. I think you've you've set the benchmark. That is what we're looking That's for. That's how you win the game. Wow, they went for Pike. That Team is how you win have the game. Won. They they picked five super cool. Sorry, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. You get win points, right? All right, fine. So they have yeah, but they have seven trillion <laughs> yeah. win points. You only get like thirty for winning the game. Like, it doesn't even matter. Gentlemen, I have to be the calming voice. All right. Until they pull off the combos, those win points are ethereal. When they pull off the combos, the insect into Yasuo oh. ult, that's when I'm on ball. But we've got a Weiwei Dumblebox 
Yasuo Pike bot lane. That is hype. Because it, I would say that if you're a good Yasuo player, you can shut down a lot of AD carry, especially linear ones like Twitch. You try an ulti, win wall, gone. You have no ulti available. <laughs> you can right click all you want, Uzi. What's it gonna do against that? So I unless think- Unless the win wall goes backwards. Unless, unless <laughs> that, that is the problem. <laughs> which is like- Are uh, you saying that you don't believe in Wewe, former world champion? I believe that some win walls will go in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Westor and Bebe. Gotta give Legend. some credit to Bunny Rice, though. They're the lone holdout. They are. On their team. They're the only non tryhard on their team. Where does Anivia rank? Because I thought Anivia could be, you know, middle to, to upper. Her ulti and her but E think of the full are not combo. hard to land. Yeah. But think of the full combo. Wall, ulti, Q, R. Like, oh. there is some synergy in no. that. No. I think you guys are overly hard. It's, it's, it's movement plus skill shot. That, yeah. is, the, that is the real difficulty. Uh, I think you know, Team Red smashed this team, There's team, no argument about Red, that. Yeah, Team Red definitely hard blasted him. I just think you two are a bit too it's, insane. It's uncomeable. <laughs> uncomeable. <laughs> I'm declaring it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Zale is out. Uh, one Punch Man has declared Team Red yeah, the I one victor. Punch their draft. <laughs> one Punch their draft. But now what are we looking for for the next um, level one? Unlock level one. Level of, one. Here we of, go. Of victory points is the Lee Sin or Pike into Yasuo ultimate combination. I mean, the ultimate, right? We've got to talk about this level one. All right, Light Binding is going to connect. There's a Bone Skewer. Bunny Rice already forced to flash. Bro Group jumps in. First Blood picked up by Dumblebox. Now, uh, Rook9 is running for his life. Not going to get caught up by that Steel Temple. Oh, they're going to get him. Forward over the Cleaver. Arthi. They tumbled into the wall. Nicely done. Wait, wait, One wait. last okay. hit. But now this is the turnaround. Very good light binding. Last Plugo finds a target. Bro Grip will not follow the Lee Syndrome, and it's two to zero to Team Red. Nicely done. Yeah, perfect. Level one setup from the Red team. The fact that they picked harder champions, they went for a bigger gamble, but they utilized their stronger early game. Lee Sin, Pike, Lux, all very strong at this level one point in the game, and it was the Pike that finds himself first mm -hmm. blood. And those cool picks actually proportionally increased the size of your brain. It's true. So they became more and more intelligent, and. Uh, as a result, 2-0 lead. Well, 2-0 lead, the team that my color casters are already in love with. There's no doubt in my mind. All right, Flash Frost comes out, lost Plugo on this Lux. Does very well. You actually hit a number of those skill shots. I have to admit, I'm already impressed at how many skill shots landed just in that opening exchange. So I'm kind of quietly hopeful. Here we go, Light Binding into a couple of autos. Nessia continues to trade, and Nivea auto attack, one of the Oldest, most annoying uh, auto attack that has been changed you know, in recent years, but still, it counts. This champion. Ooh, Bunny Rice gets caught out. Lost Plugo forced to flex. Oh, oh no! The light binding went the wrong direction, and this will be a dead Lost Plugo. No, it will not! The barrier! Oh. Look at that! All about the keyboard! Leave! Leave! You can't <laughs> stay here! <laughs> oh, the jungle meetup! All right, uh, Bro Grip is going to land the Sonic Wave. Resonating Strike comes out. The Summoner Heal used there by Kanduzi. No um, Summoner spells in the bottom lane. Bunny Rice is holding on to uh, the Hex Flash. But Bro Grip, will he find the kill? Because I think if he landed a Q, that could have been a secure. Doesn't find it this time. Yeah, it definitely could have been, but it's a little bit scary with uh, Kanduzi coming over. And Double Relish Shield, pretty smart. They're going to go in. All right, Bunny Rice is in so much trouble. I think this is uh, pretty much inting. Kanduzi steps forward, and Weiwei's going to go very, very low. One more shot will take him out. Now Rooknaut is going to be in some trouble. Brogrip needs to land the skill shots. Remember, they were training, practicing, watching Vedius and I, holding onto the skill shots for now. Brogrip just walks straight through, takes a whole bunch of damage, and doesn't fire a single shot. Double Box is running for his life. That's definitely something they learned from us, but they landed the Q <laughs> on the Kanduzi, not going to go for it. Did you see Double Box sidestep the first cleaver? Now there's a fight up in the top. The shield comes Man. out. Last Plugo gets the passive from Nick. All the minions! The, Nick. Yeah, the minions helping out! Reworked minions, remember. Additional damage, maybe not this early in the game, but still helping out. Oh, Kanduzi! Donates a kill. Actually, doesn't even get it. It's an exit. He kill. got a boom! <laughs> Lost Lugo. 2 0 he gets 1. Three is the red buff. Oh, not oh, just the, 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 the minion's not going to be enough to help him out. Oh, not quite strong enough. I don't think he had enough mana. If he could get his shield up one more time, he might have got a triple kill. Oh. 
Bunny Rice getting very low, does have the red buff, but keeps this lane alive for Nessia. Now, we got to remember as well that it is a pretty big rivalry in the mid lane with LAN versus LAS. And with Lost Plugo using his flash very early on and still finding the outplay later on into the game, they got to be feeling a lot of confidence in this mid lane matchup. All right, yesterday, what was it? Something like 90-ish kills by 30 minutes, around about that? It was a uh, lot. Pretty standard game. Yeah, pretty pretty standard. Today, eight kills already. Um, I think we may need to bring in a second play-by-play -play for these types of games in the future. Uh -oh. I got you. But now, Arfi is just going to get run down here. Obliterated and easily killed by Ruknan and Jukin. Ooh. But now we're looking for Dumblebox. He's looking for a kill. Beautiful setup on the stun. Every single skill shot lands. Team Red with seven bajillion victory points. <laughs> really clean setup in the mid lane. The red side, they seem to be very proactive in their playmaking. I keep my eyes on Bro Grip. What is he looking for next? Because a lot of flash is still unavailable on the side of the blue team. Another hook lands. All right, Bone Skewer into the stun. Dumblebox looking very, very good. Still Tempest is available for Weiwei. Not going to find a target. The wind wall is flawless. Kanduzi doesn't get the damage, but the death sentence finds its kill. Exhaust used to buy some time. And Kanduzi with Bunny Rice turn it round. This jump to the mid lane as Rook9 and Bro Grip are trading back and forth. Light Binding connects from Lost Plugo. No final spark available. If it was there, maybe something could have happened. Lost Plugo. Look at the start. Stop moving. Moves. He's not clicking. Beautifully done. <laughs> not going to pick up the kill, though. Arthi now going to try close this out. He's in trouble. Here comes Here's Dumblebox. Dumblebox. It's a 2v2. The Condemn was enough to push Jukin away. And Dumblebox is going to be arriving just in time. Dumblebox is popping off on the pike. He's hitting hook after hook. He's been on point with the roams as well. Such a sick start, and he's already got his mobile boots. But I think Lost Plugo, his mouse disconnected or something because he literally stood there as two members of the blue team were just hitting onto his hand face. Cramp, hand cramp, hand <laughs> cramp, taking a break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has two hands available. <laughs> Wasn't able to use any of them, though. Various uh, 3, 2, and 2. What's important, more important about that, uh, 450 gold bounty. That was actually picked up by Team Blue side, and that keeps him only 800 gold down. Okay. All right, Bro Grip, with the help of Lars Plugo, going to be coming out here. At least the uh, Prismatic Shield, that did help out. Lars Plugo, going to throw out the Lucent Singularity, but not going to find anything. Those skill shots dodged away. Really good juking by Ruknan to make sure he didn't get caught by those skill shots. Yeah, well done by him. Plus, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that one, yeah, we'll give him one. Yeah, we'll oh, give him one. one. He looked away. All right, Death Sentence. Going to catch on the double box. He's going to take that uh, Ghost Water dive out to safety. But um, Bunny Rice is finding his, his, his rhythm now. The only S-tier champion on the blue side. Yep, yep. Uh, and got to give him some credit for, for landing the skill shots and playing it out well. And Bunny Fufu, you know, even back to his pro days, was really known for his thrash. That is how this guy kind of first made his name. Obviously a very popular streamer now, YouTuber as well. Um, but definitely one of the guys who had some incredible thrash plays over the years and uh, getting to play his signature champ. Well, Kanduzi has just hit level six now. This is where the uh, Twitch champion does get rather strong. We'll see how impactful this AD carry is, as we know many people have strong opinions on the position as we see another engage in the bot lane. All right, no stun onto Kanduzi. The lantern's available, but here comes Lost Blue Very nicely done. Kanduzi makes it to the lantern to get out the safe. Brogrips gets chunked down by the Sadikism. He's just going to continue to get bursted out. Lost Blue Go managing to land the final spark. Now Dumblebox oh. gets the stun onto Kanduzi. The re-engage from Weiwei. He dashes in, he dashes out. He's got the kill, he gets alive. Now oh, Bunny Rice is low on mana. Not going to be able to have any other follow-up, but really nicely done. Great synergy on the red side. Yeah, so well done there. And the robes have been on point from this red side team. We do have Yasuo at level six as well, so theoretically they can even look for a dive. Well, listen, double block. Here they go. All the details are on him. Oh, the Q. He's tanking up the tower. Needs to get out. Wait, wait, survive. Oh, he does it. That was so close. Off, he's able to get a solo kill in the top lane, or I guess that's a duo kill. Um, <laughs> But by the way, 600 gold bounty for Dumblebox, 500 gold for Arthi, and I think Lost Blue goes in trouble. That's a very good Ooh, flash. Fine. That's an even better bind. Here comes Arthi. Final spot goes down. I think the egg might be available for Nessia. It is pop. Rooknan should be able to run down Arthi's vein. One more shot will do it. And it's a double kill for Rooknan. Bro Ooh. Grip, though, looking to try to get this shut down. All right, nicely done. Bro Grip, come on, look for the insect. Set it up, set it up. Gets stunned. Nessia manages to, to get the disengage. The CC does land. Now, 
a lot of action has been happening across the board. But what we failed to talk about was that on the blue side, they decided to take no flashes except for on bunny rides. It is ghosts across the board. They decided to try and handicap themselves <laughs> by going for this composition and saying, you know what, if we're going to draft this, we've got to punish ourselves in some way. Oh, they're doing, I mean, it's the easy mode summer spell. It's not <laughs> a, it's, you're it's, you're it's, right. It's not what a am I saying? Spell. See, Vedius, this, this is, is a poor why analysis. Can we get I, a replacement? I needed somebody else at my side in training. You just don't see the strategy. Nessio! Oh! Progrip does it! Look at the celebration! They set up the insect. Double box even flashes away to safety. Actually, that's his teammates in. What's he gonna do it? Rooknard <laughs> jumping for joy in celebration while well, down in the bottom lane. The tower is starting to fall. The plating is going out. 12 kills to 14. And the red team, they set up the play, but they lost the fight. Yeah, I mean, the blue team may have got the kills, but the red team has won our hearts. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, really nicely done. Gets a trade one for one, despite uh, Kanduzi using that rat -a tat tat to help pick up the kill. Oh no, it doesn't matter what team he's on. He's Rookie has to dive. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens now. Arthi trying to get some damage onto Jukin. I actually think Arthi could win this. He has the ult. Final hours available, no flash. Got Blade of the Ruin King. All right, stealths up, tumbles away. Blade of the Ruin King available. We need one more auto. Not gonna oh. get it, but just survives. Stays alive. Here comes Pro Grip. There's no ultimate available. Now he didn't have the Condemn available, which is why he wasn't able to knock away Jukin, but now we see a bit of action in the middle lane. All right, Tempest and Cripple. Sonic Wave is there, really nicely done. Just easily running down Nessia. And of course, Bunny Rice holding onto the Lantern. Not gonna be body block. Here comes Dumbledore. Bone Skewer available. Death from below picks up the first kill. Do Bunny Rice gets rooted up. Manages to find a death sentence. That's a double kill for Double Box. Oh, he's playing so incredibly well. Kanduzi does get a reply kill. Will he find just a little bit more? Blade of the Ring King's on cooldown. Side steps the Bone Skewer, but in a 3v1, he's already got one. Will get shut down by Arthi, who gets the double kill. This is a very fed vein already. Yeah, it really is. Uh, we do see Arthi making another move down. The players have been so active around the map, moving everywhere, helping each other out. Kills are relatively low so far this game. Is now, but, you know, it's been a pretty slow it pace is, game. Yeah, to what yeah we it's a bit of a snoozer. Do. Yeah, uh, only uh, 37 kills. Yeah, and I mean, where we already at 66 farm, 11 minutes in the game, so pretty high for a Yasuo main, I would say. Yeah, very, <laughs> and, uh, very nicely done. And they're already sitting at two, three, and three, so a very impressive KDA. I mean, really, the the kind of stats you really want to look at is the the ratio of CS to kills. Yes. Uh, and really, you want to try to have more kills then CS, if possible, I in agree. tandem yep. mode. Um, the closest we're getting to that really is the Pike, but he's kind of being held back by the fact that he went Targon. So maybe should have oh, gone Wayne for yeah. that reason. Rookie mistake. Oh, wait, no, he's on the other team. Uh, yeah, he also made several mistakes. Yeah. Who has the most kills this no, game? No, the though. biggest mistake. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see whether I can pull it back. All right, double box. Wait, wait, come on, go for the tower dive. I know you guys can do it. Side against it for the time being. Instead, Bunny Rice. Be going fishing for last blue go finds a death sentence. Bro grips here so now. Bro grip is available. Dragon's Rage is up. Oh, no! Correction. <laughs> last blue go. No, that's a kickback for Kanduzi. Bro grip. It may have looked there. good, but simply <laughs> not enough for the win. Here comes uh, Jukin for an easy closeout. 18 kills to 19. The red team are still marginally ahead in goal, but gentlemen. They're losing control on this game. They're losing their grip. Yeah, I mean, that was more of a, a, a bed shot type insect there. You know, <laughs> no one there. Didn't really work out. But you got the style point. Off. He did get right. style points. Going to be able to pick up this kill. Yeah, one more oh! shot. <laughs> the tumble! The, the tumble flash, no. went the wrong way. But I respect that they went for that, you yeah. know? Because yeah. when you have this much power in your hands, when you're working in tandem perfectly, responsibility. Yeah, so to go for that play, a lot of respect. That gets them another, I would say, 3 billion winning points. Yeah, yeah? that's pretty good. Are quite, you, a, quite a few. Are you keeping track of the winning points? I want to take a look later. Bunny Rice will find himself a death sentence, but now Dumblebox needs support. Here comes Pro Grip as well as Last Blue Go. Another death sentence finds its target. Naughty. Final Spark will not secure the kill just yet. Last Blue Go is now running for his life with the help of Pro Grip. No ultimate available. Life Binding oh, by no. two, so nicely done. Kanduzi with the poison just running amok. Rooknan and uh, Kanduzi, they're able to just 
pick up the kills, take the lead, take advantage in the gold, and this team composition is starting to shine. I, do you know what? I'm a little disappointed because this uh, replay brought you by Acer Predator. Yeah, Acer Predator replay here. Rooknot just so fed on the Mundo, just walking straight into them, mailing them down. And when Kanduzi arrives on the Twitch, not much chance for the red team. Yeah, and Pro Grip, their synergy was just a little bit off here. You can see that not using any of their abilities, the Q goes wide for at least in one trick and a world finalist. Very surprised that they weren't able to coordinate a little bit better. Last Blue goes, E went the wrong way. And this is the thing for the blue side. They just don't require synergy. They just <laughs> press the right click and things work out in their favor. And this is why I'm so like, I feel dirty watching this, you know? The 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 the, the, the goal that you want to do is show off like Dumblebox is doing. Six, four, and five, a beautiful bone skewer. The last Blue Go didn't quite find the attack. Oh! oh that was beautiful. Oh, he's the MVP. Yeah. We'll ignore that last minion. Nicely done. Chalk it up. Right, okay, we, still way, way, though. we still need to see the Lee Sin into Yasuo combo. That's what I want to watch. Windwall comes out. That was a little uh, ambitious. The stun lands up to last Plugo. Where's the follow up? Bone Skewer as well. First Will Dive will get the kill. And somebody's having some scrambled egg for breakfast as Nessia goes down. Yeah, really nicely done there. Four members show up and they're looking to go forward on Rooknon. Well, look at this, by the way. Arky, 108 CS in 15 minutes. He's uh, going to be able to kill that Mundo as this game goes forward. Oh! Box, you madman! Dumble Doge and KFC Eat Box, two players from the Turkish region. And of course, Bunny Rice will be taken down in just a moment or two. Chase it, chase it, chase it. Off these sidesteps, dodges, ducks, dips, and dies. The greatest coordination of eight players League of Legends has ever seen. <laughs> Dumble box into the hook, into the binding, into the knockup, into the execute. Beautifully done from the right team. Bro Grip wants more. Oh, he got him. He does indeed get stunned up under the tower. And Asia will not be able to find the kill. The tower. Worth. Help that one's out. worth. Totally worth. Totally worth. And Bro Grip is able to set the scene. All right, so 50 kills at 16 minutes, and here's a replay. So let's set, uh, keep our eyes on the execution of this. Good set of chunk damage down onto Rookman. He's going to try and create a flank, and that's their undoing, because the eight members here on the red side are primary. The flash into the hook in. There's the ulti from the Yasuo. The last to even going yeah. into Vayne, so he gets all the shutdown gold too. Everything beautifully done. That As was so clean. has said, the greatest coordination that eight players in League of Legends have ever performed. Very nicely done by Team Red, and I'm going to give them 3.5 billion victory Ooh. points. <laughs> continuing to scale up, but they will be conceding themselves a Mountain Drake. It's the first of the game. Of course, it is 8.24. Don't forget that is significantly stronger this patch early on. Yeah, I mean, they're even heading on the hook. All right, Nessia gets caught out. No passive. He's already killed. Arthi's going to be able to wreck Rooknard. The damage is just so high. Continue chasing. Tumbling forward. Easily will run them down. I'm going to continue chasing with that main <laughs> passive. Oh, he lands it. Oh, look at that. There's the follow-up from Broke. Oh, oh, no! All I can do is clap. Woo! That was fan video. These are like actual LCS big plays. <laughs> Use your words, man. What did they do? That was amazing. They did that some was cool shit. Great shot. <laughs> that is what they did. Okay. That was insane. I will help explain this. Look for the Lee Sin ultimate into Yasuo ultimate. The moment program follows the Lee Sin queue. Oh, the knock up here and into the, pipe. the double Yasuo. The execute oh, as well. I completely mispiked the first time around as well. Look, Look at, at the jump for joy like that. Okay. Get these guys into any pro league right now. You can just... Unbelievable. All right, League up. Let's see whether or not Dumblebox can escape. Goes for a diver by some time. Arthi's picking a fight in uh, the jungle. Dumblebox is in so much trouble. Arthi now tries to turn around for a couple autos. Not sure you want to do uh. that one, mate. Uh, his ultimate will come up in just a moment, but the Ooh. final spot will get a reply back. Now, I need to say we need to get League Ops involved here because Team Red has won this game. 
The blue team may not know it yet. Yeah, but I we mean, need to share the we, information. Oh, they we know it in deep down inside. Yeah, we said it in the draft. Right now, I believe that uh, Team Red are on about 20 billion winning points, <laughs> and I think Team Blue are on minus seven. So yeah. like, they they were never good. they were you know it wasn't looking good. What I would love to do is two things. Number one, you have the mic check on that Yasuo Lee Sin play, <laughs> and number two, I would like to see a compilation of casters around the world the reactions <laughs> to that engage. Those are the two things I want to look for after this. All right, Rook Nine can run a muck whenever Arthi is not oh, there. Lost Blue Go. Not really good, and Brogup is grab. trying to pick up a kill onto Ooh. escapes for now. Dumblebox is looking for a kill. Goes for the dive, will find a stun. That will slow some things down. Manages to pick up a kill with the ulti. The reset is going to be available. Dumblebox runs for his life, and without Arthi around, that Mundo is going to be impossible. Oh, can do Z! Can do Z! More like cannot do Z! As he's taken you just out. You can't do Z. Yeah. That would have been much better. <laughs> I know, so like, much better. I was thinking that was so much better. better. You did much the play by play now. Yeah, okay. All right, Azale, you are now the play by play. Oh, he interrupted it. He did indeed. Nicely done, Double Box. So beautiful. They're looking for the dive, though. You see Rooknot going in here. He's just going to run him you straight down. You dare dive, Monsieur Double Box. This man is unstoppable this game. <laughs> All right, Rooknot will escape with his life for now. Oh. Not going to get caught by the uh, bone skewer. Really disappointing. Double box. I expected more. Ooh, good win wall. Comes out into the ultimate. Wei Wei doing well. But look at the survival here. On this jungle, Mundo exhaust comes out. Wei Wei continues to chase. Final spot. Also going backwards, not finding the target. They've missed every Q. They have is. indeed. <laughs> this year will get taken down eventually. Like 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 <laughs> and Nevia Passive was up. Arthi manages to pick up a kill, but in a 1v3, gets taken down. We're at 60. <laughs> Six kills. At 20 minutes, 90 at 30 was the record yesterday. And they can go to Baron. I think they're going to go straight for it. We'll see if uh, Kanduzi can do anything about it, but his ult isn't up. Uh, it is a 4v2 right now, but oh, they're, they're just setting, setting the, the trap. trap. There it Synergy. Dun, 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 dun. That was very nicely done. Easy kill. Took a little longer. Oh, than well, look at him go. Duke nah, stays alive. That uh, counter strike does so much work against the autos early on. Now can do Z. He's been spotted. Up. All right. The roots have been cut off. Lost Pluto is going to be able to get two shots. Nicely down the E from Lux. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, one, oh. two, three, and it's going to get taken. I mean, out. that was still pretty good from Kanduzi to get out of that situation, at least trade for a kill. But red team picking themselves up another kill. Baron's still alive. I've actually been so impressed by Last Plugo. He's been so on point with his Lux skill shots. Yeah. It is pretty insane. Except for like the three ults that he's missed. But I will say that they were more like directional, like testing the, which way the wind was blowing for Yasuo. So it was, his, yes. <laughs> it was about sending a message, right? Doesn't need to hit every single one. Now, look at the other This is good. Look at those tumbles. Those are flawless. Absolutely dodging everything. Already got a kill, and now Rookman needs to run for his life. One more shot. Look at it. Three. Go. Look at that. Get stunned up. Might just get killed. Oh. One more triple kill for Arthi. Seriously, that was beautiful. A two versus six outplay coming out from Arthi. Fantastic vein mechanics right there. Oh, we're going to get an instant replay as well. Azale, hit us yeah. up. He's just insane. This guy is 2v18 this game. He is <laughs> popping <laughs> off, rolling back and forth. You don't know where he's tumbling because he doesn't know where he's tumbling. <laughs> <laughs> How can the you ultimate, predict this, man? Ultimate mind game. It's impossible. Oh, man, this is insane. Do you know what? I, I am so impressed with Captain Flowers yesterday because these games are insanity. Listen, if you need to tag out, Eight I've got you, quick shot. 1,000 gold lead. It is Baron Buff. And the S tier champions have an S tier lead in the tandem mode today. You know, as we said it yesterday. Do you remember when that Hecarim, MLX Diamond, was 11 and 1? I do. And they lost. That's true. Because face roll champions, the ones that require only your face to be rolled on a keyboard to play, will not get you wins in tandem. You need to be high risk, high reward, and it is the outplays that net you those victory points. That's true. I mean, Ping and Bro Grip. Double Lee Sin, they're going up against a Mundo and a Hecarim, but they're the ones coming out on top. Yeah, every time. Well, let's see how they close out the game. We're at this point where we always talk about late game and, and macro and strategy. Arthi was playing the split push earlier. He's got the Baron buff enabled. And Bunny Rice has been fishing, but he's not finding any biters uh, just yet. Azale, this blue squad is, is in trouble. Uh, they are uh, definitely not able to find the mark just yet on that. And Barefoot 
Push is coming in. We'll see if they actually decide to go for the engage. You can see. Ooh, Arthi has actually gone up towards the top side. It's a 5v4 in mid. And the blue team are going to use that as an opportunity to try and set up a kind of engage, but they won't be able to find it. They're actually going for a collapse on Arthur. You remember what happened last time you guys tried this? All right, let's see whether Arthur can get away from this one. He's got flash and ulti available. Kanduzi's ghosted up, trying to run him down. That's the flash engage. Arthur's escaped for now, but will get run down in just a moment or two in a 3v1. The rest of the red team, they didn't push. They were not coordinated, and this is problematic in the no, late No, this game. is actually perfect coordination for a tandem. Objectives are minus points. Oh, okay. It's a bit counterintuitive, but you want to chase the kills here. Right, okay. I definitely need to know those rules before getting into the game. But thank you for Study keeping up. me up to date, Zale. Uh, minus points now for the red squad. Light finding find the oh. target. No, so does the death save. It's last blue goes gonna flash to safety, actually. This will buy some time. Now Mobox gets down the stun. The light finding finds another target. Remember, this is a four versus four because Juki Ooh. was pushed back. Now it's four versus three. Uh, three rather, as Dumblebox is taken down. So Dumblebox was in a two versus four in the jungle, yet almost was able to kill Kanduzi. So you can see the impact that that duo has been able to have this game has been pretty significant, but now the red team a little uncoordinated. You know, we identified this again yesterday as our Baron buff weakens a team. It's true, it, it has been par for the course. You know, they get the Baron buff, they move forward, they get a little bit too confident, then just like that, it's, slap down. It's just, it's it's not a buff, it is a debuff. It's and a that is tandem. Players need it's to a recognize. Yeah, tan don't, exactly. <laughs> you hit the nail on the... Matt, is that, we're so in sync. We just, <laughs> we are. We just feel it. Now, why don't we even have this other why guy do here? Have it? <laughs> no, I really it don't know. I really don't know, gentlemen. It's definitely not to play tandem mode or to come up with lame one-liners, but... Excuse me. <laughs> First of all, I'm offended. Yeah. <laughs> and second of all, your team with the 20 billion victory points... That's a lot. ...needs to, needs to regain control. Look, they're still ahead, theoretically, right? But... They're down in dragons, so I, like I'm going to say theoretically, out, <laughs> but they also are just literally ahead. <laughs> so Metaphorically, is, literally, yeah, anecdotally, yeah, yeah, exactly. they're, they're ahead in all of those things. Dude, I don't know how the measurements Here work. we go, Arthi. Arthi's going to look for the kill onto Kanduzi. He does Find so it. in a one versus three. Very nicely done. Double box is going to be helped out here by Weiwei. He's already used a summoner spell. Juken's going to drop in just a moment. Stay the Oh, the Arthi! It's a last breath. Now, keeping to dash back and forward. Weiwei stays alive. Here comes Lost Pluger. The light binding will not save a life yet. Weiwei finally goes down. Without Arthia, I think Rook Knight's gonna do a lot of work this fight. Lost Pluger has already used the final spark as well. Nessia is about to get popped. He oh, goes down. Oh, great. Oh, trying to get the damage around. They it's only this. Rook standing. Nine players got involved in that fight. <laughs> And three of them are still alive. Oh, there goes goes Ooh, that was a good Very hit. Very nicely done. Team Red picks up the kill. They were calibrating those skill shots. Everything got aligned. They take them down. And the red team wins the fight, even though the blue team was kind of the first one to the scene there. A really nicely done is Kanduzi. You know, they're closing in on Arthi here, but Arthi is like, yeah, sure, I'll take that fight. Just pops him out. And you can see the difference between the AD carries, really. One is just a right click. One needs the coordination of the two, but here comes uh -oh. Kanduzi. Oh, very nicely done. Oh, Kanduzi gets one kill back. Bogrip needs to get a few more shots. No ulti available. Gets taken down. Kanduzi indeed get a double kill. But I'm going to turn my attention back to Artsy, by the way. Um, Misty and Artifact from the VCS putting on one hell of a show. Despite their slightly lower mechanical involvement of a vein, they are making those engagements work. Yeah, I've been really impressed. And now, once again, Artsy going for a two versus four. All right, I'm pretty sure Artsy can win this one. Tumbling forward, stealth oh, up, not actually... one kill. Gets a condemn onto the wall to Nessia. Unfortunately, not able to finish out just yet. That's because Weiwei was late. This is not Arcee's fault. It's because Weiwei wasn't there, right? That is where no the blame up. needs to be planned. It's the solo queue classic. I'm catching up with the synergy, right? It's always the Yasuo's fault. <laughs> it's, it's typically. That's a good good trait to it, recognize. Yeah, it's a pretty good rule of thumb, actually. Yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> not even just for tandem, just yeah. in general. Okay. The same rules apply. See what I mean? Weiwei walks into a mundo, right? It's a Yasuo walking into a mundo. It's a fair amount of damage back, though. And here comes Program. Will he save him? Sonic Wave goes out. Last Breath comes down. Last Blue go final spark. Wave yeah. stays alive long enough. The Wind Wolf buys enough time, but Kanduzi throws down the ultimate. That's enough for the kill. Yeah, Kanduzi sitting on over 100% crit now. That is a lot of damage from this Twitch. Yeah, the Hurricane is doing so much. Last Blue go goes down. 
and Bro Grip is able to run oh, away. Oh no, you can't cancel that. You can't cancel that. Off, he wants to run away with his life. What? He stand up, manages to get Has a kill. kill him? What? the way to safety. Almost takes down Jukin as well. Two versus eight. Arthi's just looking for the next <laughs> challenge. TP's into four members and is able to find themselves a kill. Gentlemen, I told you they were theoretically ahead. Do you boys regret <laughs> doubting me now? As no. the blue team is turning back. Look at Brogrep. He's just got them in the palm of their hand. Setting up for the flank. In the palm of their hand. I'm not sure that's how you hand. phrase it, but go for it, buddy. All right, Bunny Rice not going to find the death sentence. The inhibitor is secured. And once again, in a game where the points don't matter and the inhibitors cost you control, I don't know who leads and who uh, See, there's another trap here, though. They're going yep. for the Baron and Dale. Yep. You know how that pans out. It does not work very well. I mean, you kill an inhibitor, you're just giving them more minions. You kill a Baron, the minions are going to them again. All right, Baron is secured this time around. Red team, how do they bounce back? They have themselves a gold lead a large portion of the game. It's 30 minutes in. And, I mean, we've seen one great uh, Yasuo final breath combo. Yes. But is it enough for the win? Like, do we, do we need another one? Well, it's, they've already won. Okay. Quick shot. We've okay. established this. It's now just about pride for the blue team. They're just trying to get some winning we, points back. We actually talked to, we, you know, Vanessa did a, a practice game back in EU before we came here. And we were talking in uh, the office about how we could introduce a tandem mode online. That would be and actually, The only problem is the variables in ping might cause some problems. Because let's say hypothetically I'm playing from Spain and someone else is playing from the UK and the servers are in Amsterdam. <laughs> um, the variable ping will make it quite challenging. It's all but part of the fun. It would be a lot of fun. Azale and I would nail it. Yeah, that'd sure, be free. Without a doubt. Definitely. You're on the same page, you know. I, I just, I don't have that same synergy, unfortunately. So he could win Wolf. Same book. Nice, <laughs> He's not even the play. same anime. What? Fair play. That's it. One Punch Man here. Going to be helping out. Life Binding will at least dissuade and engage. But it's another dragon going the way of Blue Team. They continue to lose victory points by picking up these objectives. It's pretty, uh, it's getting pretty scary though, this, this Twitch, Kanduzi, getting to that point where uh, it's mostly just, uh, you can almost remove the can part, it's just Uzi. <laughs> it just Uzi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Death Sentence goes a little bit wide, but the Lantern is very good. Oh, look at Kanduzi on the mini-map, looking for that flank, and Arthi isn't there with no TP. All right, here comes Uzi, Ghost has already been used, Stealth is thrown down, Ultimate's available, but not yet going to be fired. Arthi's got no TP, and here they go. Cool. needs to get back, that's an already pit, uh, dead Yasuo. Weiwei is out, GA will get popped, Brogrip needs to run for his life, and it's a five versus three. It's all up to Arthi, Dumblebox, and last. Plugo in a six versus ten. The Nexus turret is down. Arthi's trying to do what he can. Final spot comes out. Not going to be enough for the kill. Arthi's going to reach in. There's a lot of low HP bars on the blue side. Uzi do it. is down. Arthi may be able to turn this around. The Nexus turret's going down. Jax turns his attention to the Nexus. Hops forward. Counter strike onto Arthi. This is going to be enough. Three versus one. Juki stays alive until he gets caught out. Baron Apartment is on the Nexus. The Nexus is going low. Lost Plugo can't do enough, and the blue team lose but somehow win. <laughs> they destroy the Nexus. But they won. But we know the true winners. Yes, we know the true winners. And what a fantastic performance from both sides. It was enjoyable to watch while the blue team went for the more, well, less conventional approach, I suppose. They went the more, for the, more the more less conventional. We saw some phenomenal plays from the red team that we had twice the best executed plays from eight players League of Legends will ever see. Yeah, we saw some pretty insane combos. You know, the Yasuo kick, the, the kick into the Yasuo ult, into the Pike ult right over top. There was a Lux ult layered over, over it as well. That was some sick coordination, even if you're just playing for yourself. So uh, those guys definitely put on a show, but the blue team looking pretty good. And Uzi, no surprise, pretty good on the Twitch. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew that that Uzi was good on? Yeah, on but Twitch, I mean, let's right? think about it, right? <laughs> Kanduzi was solo killed by Arthi three times. Arthi in was that really, day. really good. <laughs> yeah, like the tumbles. I think you hit the nail on the head. That's what elevates Vayne for me, because yeah. you they don't know if you don't know. Exactly. You know, <laughs> they just they can't read. Maybe it's you. just an advantage. It's it's I, impressive. I have to be honest. This is one of the most exhausting game modes to keep up with. 
because you have to keep factoring in. <laughs> and the rules are always changing. In people <laughs> you never know per what the rules side. Are. I didn't even know the rules going into the game, and they changed on me halfway through. Yeah. But the willingness just to throw yourself at every single engagement over and over, it does create some of those spectacular moments. I've also got to give some credit to Dumblebox. That was just like a that was good beautiful. pike game. I'm yeah. trying to yes. think of, of any bad pike plays. That was just like a great pike game, period. Not yeah. even for tandem. Hillisan could legitimately watch that and go, hmm, I could well, learn that's something. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty nice, yeah. And you, know, like, and you think about the ratio of skill shots lost, uh, missed to the number hit. I mean, it's going to be, the ratio is going to be so much higher for the red team. You know, you think about it. It was, it was just so impressive. Because the other team had no skill shots. Exactly. <laughs> that's the point, right? It was just so impressive. Very impressive. Their hit rate was oh, man. bellissimo. Well, congratulations to the blue team for the most depressing tandem. <laughs> it was still a lot of fun to watch. It was still... on your summoner spell. And you Not know even think a skill shot yeah. summoner. I am going on the record and saying I am disappointed in each and every one of you. And yes, Bunny, Fufu, -Fu and Licorice, you tried your best, but you were no ping. Uh, their thresh, well, it was okay. Definitely didn't like... Pabu Fact yesterday Pabu Fact was, was better. Yeah. But who, who was it between Bro Grip and Ping? Bro Grip had a higher high, but I think Ping was maybe more consistent. I believe Ping was higher consistent, I yeah. would say. But Bro Grip, they The thing is, no, hang on. You cannot apply re regular logic to who performed better. This is tandem mode. So surely the team that picked up the most exciting coordinated play of eight players ever then bro grip. is the best yeah, Lee Yeah, then Bro Grip wins. Yeah. There we go. Because I mean, we, we saw it. We saw it. We saw everything come together. Everything that could happen happened in this game. The solo kills from Vayne, the outplay. Like, those were the montages that we want to see from the actually, pro players. I actually legitimately think you guys at home have to go and try tandem mode. Next time you're at a LAN party, next time you're Just do it. No, it's so not funny. a LAN party, just Listen, play. <laughs> to give us their highly analytical breakdown on that clash. Let's send it back over to the State Farm Analyst Lounge. Thank you very much, Trevor. Only top level analysis coming out of this lounge here today as I welcome Diamond Prox and Flash in the night to help us break down this very exciting tandem mode. Of course, we got Jat over here to help us out. Uh, but once again, another 100 kill plus tandem yeah. mode, just back and forth, left and right. One of the most exciting game modes, in my opinion, to watch. What about for you guys? I think ours was more exciting, to be honest. <laughs> well, with the way that you started out on that Hecarim, there could definitely be an argument made for the swingingness of that game. Well, we've seen the reverse sweep in this game because red side was dominating, and then we saw the blue side uh, picking this up. So actually, I very like uh, I like uh, how Listen played. Like Bro Grip was making insects yeah. every yep. time, but. Yeah, in general, it didn't help, unfortunately. Yeah, no disrespect to the game yesterday, Diamond, but I did think there were some bigger highlight plays in this one. The Lee Sin kick into the Yasuo Pike alt. Let's see. I mean, yes, that's that, six people coordinating for one play. That's quite possibly the, the highlight play of the day. I can think of the triple kill bot lane that you pulled off into the threshold yesterday as being a highlight. We also had a Lee Sin kick yesterday, but we had two or three of them here today as we roll through some of the highlights here. Uh, Diamond, since you played in the in the tandem yesterday, I want to know what you think are kind of the most difficult aspects of, of tandem mode. Why is it so hard to execute? Uh, I think the synergy between players is the definitely the hardest part, especially if you can't communicate properly, like if you speak different languages or stuff like that. Uh, so uh, me and Amelik G were just basically pointing fingers at the screen <laughs> of what to do. He was like, uh, press this button. Yep. I was like, yeah. Uh, once we back, uh, he has to buy some stuff, and uh, I just pointed at no, 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 buying deep, buy different <laughs> stuff and stuff like that. So, and when you play skill champions like listen, and you have to coordinate multiple skill shots on your champion and jumps, that's where the hardest part ca comes through. And you need you need to be really on point, and the player with the keyboard needs to really you know, watch watch where the mouse goes. So in this game, obviously, we had a Lee Sin as well. What, what would be another champion you'd call out as being uh, difficult to play in tandem mode in this game? I think in this game, the hardest ones were the Thresh and Pike. I think they're even harder than Lee Sin a little bit, except for the insects, of insects of course, because you need to, um, uh, both of those champions require a lot of skill shots, like Thresh especially. It's really hard to pull you off uh, when you play Thresh by yourself, but when you play Thresh by like two players, it's even harder. And Pike, you need to hold your Q and at the same mo time move the mm -hmm. champion, and only then you can 
like uh, hook. So yeah, that's pretty hard. On the flip side, what would you say are the easiest champions in this game that would have been to pilot? Well, uh, Tandem requires skill, of course, and requires coordination, which, as Diamond said, is very difficult. And that's why Mundo, I guess, is pretty easy champion. And Anivia is also kind of hard, because we saw the score. Uh, the score 210 was <laughs> saying that. Uh, and AD carry is probably hard in the lane, but closer to the late game, it gets to a mouse controlling player. Rule. We saw multiple times yeah. Uzi or Arthi or Kanduzi or Arthi just having basically auto attack 1v3s, which was pretty exciting. Yeah, we have the cost and balance at All Star of fun versus serious. And winning also being fun. So that's the thing. When you first <laughs> pick the Twitch, once Uzi got Infinity Edge with Candice commanding the QER. It, that's a very synergistic relationship, right? We saw Uzi do this with Reckless two years ago, able to do it again here. I mean, that that's what won them the game, really, at the end. Absolutely. We did this yesterday. I'm going to do it again for this game. Best name out of the 10 out there. What are your thoughts? Bro Grip. Bro the, Grip is my Bro Grip. Both of you on the Bro Grip. The point is that when you hear Bro, it's already a good nickname. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, ja, what about for you? What are you thinking? Top, I mean, top name. I, I agree, but I'm going to give some variety. Mm -hmm. I'm going MVP of the match, Kanduzi. That's, Kanduzi that's the name I heard good. the most in the audience. And I maybe that's because of the fandom, but I heard a lot. I like Kanduzi because, like, you got a Kanduzi attitude. You know, like, there's so many different ways you could kind of play with that name. I also really liked Dumblebox. Just because that was a good one. Double Doge alone is a great name, so you just put any of anything yeah. beyond Dumble, and you're a winner. Either way, thank you so much for the both of you to join us. Uh, uh, actually, I do want to ask you one more thing. How, how was your experience in the 2v2? You guys were teammates. Uh, so unfortunately, you <laughs> exited a little bit sooner than the finals, <laughs> but did you guys have fun yeah. playing up there? Well, uh, the point is that I didn't have any honor to play with them in a team, mm. but I had some chances like seven years ago. There were little ones, but... Yeah, and uh, now it was awesome. Of course, uh, I was the reason why we lost. <laughs> That's not uh, even a discussable point. Yeah, but it was very fun, and uh, yeah, double if was strong. They were quite strong. The question, eventual winners. So you lost to the eventual winners. You got to take that. Yeah. By the way, when we return to All Stars, we jump right back into the 1v1 tournament. Now as we go to break, let's take a look at these superstars compete off the rift.